Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. Let's load into Headley. Uh, see what's going on. It's uh, so age 12, early spring, 42 adults, 13 teenagers, and one crumb cruncher. Every crop has unique temperature and humidity requirements, so choose your crop wisely. It must fit for the current weather and season in order to yield a rich harvest. So I quickly hit the mute button on Hercules. Isn't that just a beautiful picture there? I love that. It looks so pretty. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. I think we're paused. Are we paused? No, we are obviously not paused. Well, let's pause. Everybody, stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. Um... What are we building here? This looks like it's going to be a fish, uh, fish farm. Oh, no, it's a tea section, which is going to lead to a fish farm. Uh, what we're trying to do, if memory serves, is we have this barn right here, which is real convenient to this section of the, the village and the housing down here. And so we have, um, wait a minute, we have some fish farms here, and then we're going to build some more over here. So that way we kind of keep this, uh, the barns somewhat equally stocked, and we don't have to use our uh, donkey to uh, run back and forth. Hamas, the terrorist clay digger, has died in an accident. Aww. He done blowed up. That's a bummer. Let's see what... Uh, food reserves are low. Let's analyze this. Now, there is no bread, and that's typically your reserve food. So, in that regard, yes, food reserves are low. However, we have some fish, and we have some meat coming in. Fish numbers are picking up. And we have a lot of vegetables. And we're in early spring, which means once we thaw, and we're at 24 degrees heading north, uh, we'll be able to get gatherers out, which will stock uh, up on uh, fruit and vegetables. Hunters and fishermen will bring stuff in. And we will roll tide roll from there. Uh, let's just real quickly kind of review our employment situation here. So I take that construction worker out because they don't have anything to do. We have five laborers available. One person working construction, that'll be on the, uh, the T section over here. We have six people working uh, fish uh, farms. Nobody gathering yet, obviously. Seven hunters, four working trees, uh, four working uh, lumberjack lodges or sawmills. I think I have a sawmill in town now. Uh, let's see, I believe. Is it right there? Making firewood. Obviously, we're doing pretty well on firewood right at the moment, so that's good. Actually, our construction supplies are looking pretty pretty good at the moment across the board. We could use more logs, obviously. You always need more logs. But, uh, no, we're, I think we're overall in pretty good shape. Um, all right. So, uh, we had six people working in the clay mine. Two blacksmiths at work. One uh, weaver working, producing clothing. We have lots of clothing. We have lots of stuff to make clothing. Keep them busy. Uh, we have two people working the two kilns, which are converting firewood to charcoal, and two per people working, well, uh, here's the kiln. Two people working as kilners, and two people working as uh, in the smelters to take uh, the charcoal and ore and turn it into cast iron, which then goes to the blacksmith shop and is turned into high quality tools, which we have an abundance of at the moment. So, uh, what we may well do here is shut, uh, as, as spring spawns, as it were, um, 
is shut that operation down. That'll free up six bodies effectively. We got 150 tools. We got less than 50 workers. That, those tools are going to last for a while. So that's good. We can put them to work uh, in the fields. We can put. We can keep mining. Uh, clay's looking good. We we do need more logs because we're going to start looking to have to uh, uh, either expand our collection area because there is still more resources to pull. We get out in this area over here, start bringing in rocks and ore and stuff. Uh, it would probably be beneficial if we built a road out there and put a warehouse in that area. Uh, that way the gatherers, people gathering the, the various items, could just stockpile them in the warehouse and then we'll get the donkey to drag that stuff into town because that's what the donkey's good for, right? Uh, before spring pops, uh, we should be getting apples this year. It looks like 2,800. That would be good. Um... Really? Am I? Did I see that correctly? Is that a six-person orchard? Holy crap on a stick. How? What the hell did I do building it so big? Well, okay, that's fine. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, that, again, we got six people right here between the blacksmiths and the kilners and the smelters. Go work the orchard. When the field's not in use, go make tools. Makes sense. All right, we're good. Plus, we're maxed out on lumberjacking and all that good stuff at the moment. Uh, we've got someone on the donkey cart business. Uh, no healers or anybody working the uh, apothecary or the, the medic shop at the moment because nobody's sick. We do have disasters on. We have, <laughs> if you'll recall, in our uh, first, uh, I would say, episode of live stream, it went several hours because we played through 12, almost 12 years. Uh, <laughs> we got royally screwed. And this is why I don't turn disasters on. <laughs> we had two buildings on fire and a tornado came through the village all at the same time <laughs> people were dying and all that stuff it's like oh my god are, are you serious right here um so i i think overall we're in pretty good shape we got clothing everybody's got clothes everybody's got an extra set of clothing I really want to get on the uh, the wood production. Now, we do have this little secondary camp over here on the the um, isthmus, as it were. Ooh, big word. Uh, we have some, some shacks over here. We have a barn. We have a, a, a warehouse, which has all of our logs at the moment. So we're going to need donkey to probably move that stuff back over here into the primary warehouse, which is this one here. Um, but we'll see. We are gathering out here on the on this uh, area. There's lots of stuff you can see marked over here with the yellow X's to pick up. All right, so now we're up to speed with the Robbins Racing Show. Um, <laughs> here in Headley, let's kick it in the gear and get it moving. Get it, get moving, get it moving, get it moving full steam. Too sweet to be sour, too nice to be mean. Justin Corman, hey, what's happening? How are you? Collette has grown up, is ready to study. Corman has grown up, and is ready to study. Uh, you know, so maybe once we get enough lumber, we should build a squirrel. Oh, oh, full stop. Hold up. Pause. Well, wait a minute. We're still in early spring. What are the odds that temperature is going to drop back below freezing? What are the odds? Early spring. All right, I'm watching. Up, oh, nope. Here comes the thaw. All right, it goes to 33. Very good. All right, so let's allocate. Uh, let's put some people gathering. And let's put some people. Uh, let's shut down this operation like we talked about. Well, we'll keep that part of the operation going. We'll shut down the kilners first. Take people out of the mine. Stock up the fields. Um, still need three more people. Well, that's gonna these these are gonna free them up. So let's go ahead and and play. Once we see Z's on the, yep. So we're good. Uh, I don't think there's anything to make, so I'll free them up and. 
give us three people there. Very good. All right, swell. So now this T section, well, okay, is almost complete. Almost. Hey, uh, JC, I got a friend of mine uh, is a flight attendant for uh, Southwest. Her birthday was the other day, Kara. Um, she's overnighting up there at uh, Cincy, up there in your neck of the woods. It's like, what the hell is this place? <laughs> she was kind of tripping out. <laughs> you know, it's like people are unfamiliar with that area. And uh, it's like, oh, wait, I don't quite understand. You know, there's nothing around here, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's very funny. All right, so visit your dad for about a week and a half, two weeks. Oh, sweet. Where's he live? A baby has been born. Hooray, baby. Um, okay, so that's... Do we have... I think we do. Oh, hell. Here we go with the storms. Uh, I think we've got... Gannon has grown up and is ready to work. Hooray. How much is it going to take to build a school? Okay. 390 logs are the key bit to that deal. So, we need to work on the, uh, the logs. Logging. Alright. And so, that the ca being the case, let's... Um... Now, I think I've got a Forester's Lodge over here. I'm pretty sure it's right here, hiding under the tree. Imagine that. And they're in planting mode. We're going to put them in reaping mode. And then we'll check this one over here. Uh, and then we talked about building a... Yeah. Because there's lots over here to collect. So, uh... Uh, we've got a bunch of teenagers that are going to be coming of age here real soon, too. So this is going to be to our benefit. We're going to take and build the road straight out here into the wilderness a little bit. Okay, so get that built. And then we'll look at putting a barn... Or a warehouse, excuse me. Out here. Yeah, we need more logs, obviously. Stephen Binkley. Can I play airport CEO? Um, yes, I can. I have not in a number of months. So, um, I'm doing this tonight. I, 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 you know what? I just wanted to relax. I've done three nights of uh, Tower 3D Pro. And... Uh, Man, just kind of, I just so enjoy this game. It's just kind of chill and everything, you know. Uh, airport CEO, absolutely. We'll uh, we'll look into that over the course of the next week or so. Hope you'll uh, stick around and look for that. Josh, yeah, do what I want to do. Yeah, you know what? But uh, I have been looking to to check out what the latest and greatest is on uh, Airport CEO. I'm still not jumping back on uh, Sim Airport right now. Uh, it still seems like, at least on the Edge branch, it's still really buggy of what, uh, what's going on with, uh, and especially even the baggage system is, uh, is really buggy at the moment. So, uh, do I have, I have people at this gather site? Yes, I do. Good. So they'll, they'll make sure that this, yeah, see, there's plenty of stuff going on over here. They got their own little field to support this portion of the village. There's hunters over here. I mean, this is its own self-sustaining little community, uh, and on this, this part of town over here. So what I want to do is let's get uh, let's get these folks collecting logs, and um, 245 miles away by road takes three and a half to four hours. Cool. All right, we'll drive safe. I love that part of the country. Love driving up through there, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio. Very nice. Okay. So there's foxes and bears and stuff. Oh my. Oh, and meat. Someone ventured out here and killed something. All right, let's uh let's get us a uh, a warehouse.
get a warehouse out here and then we're going to start reaping this area. I see uh, this is where we really start to raise the terrain level up a little bit. Uh, we start working up onto this cliff edge here, this ridge line. We got a lot of space to work with down here, but uh, there's a lot of resources out that way that I want to go gather. Uh, we may, may being the operative word, consider throwing a uh, a shack and a hunting lodge out that way. It might be an idea. I just, man, I don't want people out there during the winter, though. That would suck. Can the donkey haul stuff to build sites? I don't know if you can or not. A fine question. Hmm. Donkey. Donkey. Let's haul logs. Now that turned off. Did the, is the donkey hauling logs out there? Oh, they're hey bears. Why don't y'all help out? People run right through the bears. How are we looking here? Good on clothing, good on that, 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 that. Yeah, I don't think that uh, route thing worked. I don't think so. Well, wait a minute. It says to 80. And there's 86. Wait. So, it says to 86. Maybe it is working. Maybe you can haul construction supplies around with the donkey. Hmm. Well, it's got everything else. It just needs four logs and that's done. And it's just a matter of building it. And then uh, we can get some uh, collection. We'll go ahead and turn that off. Lincoln has grown up as ready to work. Shrek, yes. Donkey, you'll love my Sim Airport series. Uh, oh, cool. All right. Well, I appreciate you, uh, uh, you being a viewer of the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, I enjoy Life is Futile. You know, it's funny, last year, the videos from last year, this time last year, because uh, I was doing them on my laptop, because I didn't get Super Hercules till December. So all the good graphics and stuff on Super Hercules, you know, you'll see the videos from December onward, more January going forward. But um, <laughs> the, the videos last year were fun because I was doing editing and putting in, like, funny clips and stuff. Uh and I uh, got away from that this year because I really don't want to dink around with stupid uh, copyright you know, threats or anything like that. Because they can suck it. Uh, okay, late summer. All right, this field's already being harvested. This field's being harvested. They're starting to harvest here. That's good. This field's being harvested. Good, good. We're ahead of sch schedule. Uh, let's go ahead and start harvesting, folks. And uh, we've got a good amount of wood. we got a good amount of firewood. Uh, a baby's been born. This is good. Let's, uh, let's throw a house into the mix here. Once this, let's get this freaking forester's lodge. Oh, there it is. The warehouse is done. Hooray. All right. So let's, let's pause here real quick and uh, do two things. First, um, let's set up this area for collection of everything. All up through here. Look at all that. That's a lot of stuff. It'll all go to that warehouse. And then we can take the donkey to move it. So that will be sweet. Now, second, uh, we don't have all the houses upgraded yet. Um, we still have a couple of shacks going on over here in town. I do want to... do want to run this path through double wide. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. And then we'll put a new house in here. Well, maybe not because the shack is in the way. Oh, it's an improved shack too. That's 
All right, that's that's easy enough. So we have housing for 58, and we have 58 people. All right, I guess that means we need a new house. So here's, okay, there's a, a path between those houses. I think I just did that for reference lines, though. I really, I want to make sure there's a, a tile or two. Let's see here. Nope. All right, let's put this out here. All right, so that's where it ends there. We'll just run it to there. That'll do. That'll give us reference point so we have a little bit of a gap between uh, the homes to prevent fire issues. And we will build us a new home, right, y'all? And rotate it this way. All right, is that 10 by 10? I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the front. Yes, I think we're 10 by 10 here. So let's get that built. And go. Oops, I slowed time down. There we go. Do a little terraforming. Hey, there may be room to put one more house right before this corner. That would be swell. Speaking of swell, there's a well, so that kind of serves this section. Plus there's a well over here. Those are all serving the fields. When the early fall temperature's dropping, uh, let's see here. We can probably fit another. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna have to stack them on top of each other a little tight, but I think it would work. Hmm, the only problem is, yeah, there's 10 by 10. Uh, the terrain is a problem. So we'll have to deal with that. Uh, that's okay, we can build houses other places. That's fine. We could turn that into a field or any number of things. Uh, let's see here. So we've got builders building the house. Our fish supplies are still not impressing me. Uh, of course it gets dark when I don't need it to. All right, let's get somebody building that. And temps are falling. Lots of firewood, we've got lots of clothing, we've got lots of tools, we've got lots of stuff to make clothing. And look at how this is clearing out out here. Nice. Very good. Now the barn is running. Well, why are people, oh, you know what, they're hauling, hauling the supplies out for the construction, I guess. Oh, yeah, because I got all the freaking logs over here. All right, let's get the donkey moving here. Donkey. Move logs from here to Hyun. I don't want to move all that, but okay. Let's uh, get them back into planting mode. Come on, people, harvest. We got, uh, we got some meat coming in. That's good. And, oh, wait. Small house construction complete. Hold it full stop. Hopefully, hopefully no one's going to be homeless for that for more than a minute. Unless a bunch of people just started pumping out babies in the like 30 seconds I wasn't looking, and that's probably the case. So we're probably screwed here. We're probably going to lose some people unless I can build a shack really quick. I wonder if I can throw a shack on this. No, probably not. Shoot, that's going to piss me off. Damn it. I didn't really catch when it completed. Um, nom, 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 
Okay, there's minimum space, and I just need to rotate it this way. Okay, let's get somebody building that. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get that built and save a life or two. This is good. Temperatures dropping. People are going to get hungry. All that stupid crap that happens that's associated with homelessness. Because, you know, people had to start pumping out babies. Expecting a baby. Expecting two babies. Damn, they're getting busy. Baby. Yep, there you go. There's the problem. Okay, they've got almost everything done. All the materials oh, need ore on site. Shoot. You ready to crank up the crank up the uh, funeral pyre? We got a bunch of people hungry and homeless. Now that shack's getting built. That could save us here if it gets done quick enough. Nope, they starved to death. Screw you hippies. Well, sorry. My bad. All right, now, so we got three. Um, okay, so we can get people out of, yep, whatever. We got a crap ton of people now. All right, so let's go back into clay mining. And put a couple people here, a couple people here, a couple people here. Oops. Uh, now that house is done. Let's go ahead and improve this. Improve this shack. That will give us housing for four. Okay, this needs a person. There we go. We got we got a lot of people unemployed. They should be out here collecting stuff and filling up this this uh, warehouse. All right, let's see what the... Uh, okay, that funeral pyre has got that much radius. We're going to build another one. They all probably died within radius of that funeral pyre, though. All right, so the house is uh, under upgrades. This is good. we got three babies. we got kids coming up still. We just got to keep the uh, population growing, which seems a little odd because it's like we got, uh, you know, so many people unemployed at the moment. But during the, you know, summer months, that's a different story. That said, um, Switch them back over to planting, and we're going to set up to clear some trees over here. Clear all this out. Get those trees in the inventory. Okay. Fish farm, and we got zero fish in inventory. That sucks. But, let's see if we can build us another one. Get some people building that. Get some people clearing trees. We get logs in the inventory. Hundred and sixty. Uh, yes, I was uh, doing a little Shrek there, Joshua. So, uh, yeah, you caught that. It was very good. Donkey. Okay. Do I have anybody doing stuff they don't need to be doing? No. It's good to go. I guess we can go ahead and put three, four more people in here. Uh, I think, wow, man, it's like a whiteout. 
some racist ass weather there. <laughs> um, all right, let's start thinking. About, I don't need to start thinking about it, but baby's been born. Hooray! Um, what I want to start looking at is. Um, it's a mill. We don't quite have enough lumber for it, but that's correctable. Wait, keep it on the screen. 50, yeah, we're good. 90, yeah, we're good. 290, okay, so logs are the only thing. 170, yeah, we're good, and we're good on stone. So where could we put a wind? Jesus, that's big. Always catch. It's always like, holy crap! That windmill is huge. Let's see. I thought there was a. Aaron died in a accident. Oh, sorry. Contact OSHA, somebody. Oh yeah, if you hold the key down, it turns stuff, it it rotates it, as opposed to 90 degrees, which I kind of like 90 degrees stuff, but that's just me. Okay, uh, maybe... Ah, oh crap, we're already in the spring. Alright, hang on. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Our food production is okay for now. Let's wait till next year for that. Let's go back to this school project. This makes people more productive. 390 is what we need log-wise. We could put the school right here. That's not bad. Too big for that space. Over here is not a bad spot. That would put us over towards the port. I kind of centrally locate it over here. We kind of serve both sides of town. Oh, I haven't completed this, re reconstructed this road. Let's fix that. There we go. Now let's take a look here. There's tree, there's field. Um, huh. That doesn't look like a bad place. Now here's a here's a curiosity. Little stones on the ground. If I look at the mining, hmm. Well, no, they're just for decoration. I thought maybe they were indicative of, uh, you know, that there might be stone in that spot. Holy crap! Boy, there's great. All right, we know where we go to build a stone quarry. Well, of course, it's right on the path. That's fixable, too. <laughs> but we've got lots of stone we're picking up off the ground over here. I mean, we got 1,055 stone. And there's more stone to pick up over here. So we're in really good shape in that regard. Wait. That... What's the radius of this guy? Oh, yeah, these trees are just outside that radius. Let's make sure they get picked up. That's important. Cut down trees and eat my lunch like my old papa. Alright, let's get that collected. Bodies are still burning, as opposed to beds. How do we dance when our beds are burning? Okay, so we need to reallocate people back into the fields. Get them out of the stone or the quarry or the mine. I don't think we accomplished a whole lot with the tool stuff there. So we got three spare folks. We three people in construction. And that looks good. So we will um, keep pressing with that. Uh, what's going on over here? We got a question mark. Fish farm. 
What seems to be the problem, officer? Can we not get materials to the build site? Because that would be hinky. We should be able to. We should be able to build right off this this previous dock. All right, we'll look at that again in a minute. Ah, uh, trees. Ew, the trees are looking ill. Well, we should get... Oh, you know what? Uh, well, we got a lot of stuff. I think we'll be okay. One thing to consider when doing... Um, orchards right and I, I talked about this on previous videos but I'll cover it here briefly I, I did one big orchard here I think that was a mistake I may go back and and tear it down and split it at least in two what I've done on a different uh, town is do three that are the same size you don't want them to be huge I made this one huge I don't know what the hell I was thinking maybe I had some tainted high quality h2o speaking of almost out but um, if you do three equal size orchards, right, and, and try not to, you know, overtask them, with, like, just make them so that two to three people can take care of them. And that way your whole workforce isn't working. But they go on three-year cycles. So there's a down year and then there's two years of growth. So what you want to do is set them up so that you have two orchards, you know, one's in year one, one's in year two, and one's in the down year and then it switches each year that way you have a constant supply of fruit coming in and then you don't have to worry about it right does that make sense um, let's see here we got taters we're gonna stick with taters we got lots of flax Eh, we'll grow flax there this time we got plenty of grass okay so, we are looking at building the squirrel. Um, hey, that's a pretty good spot right there. Oh, wait a minute, is that a single wide path? It should be a double wide. Oh, the homes are back to back there with one, one path between them. Let's put the school right here-ish. That looks pretty good. I kind of like it. Which, which way am I supposed to be looking? Oh, yeah, this is the front. Okay, so we've got the front to the front, because that's important. It's like front towards enemy if you're messing with a claymore. Uh, you want to make sure that the front is towards the enemy. Okay, nope, nope, nope. I love how it changes just a little bit. You just move just a little. Okay. Uh, 10 by 10. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. That's good. Holy crap, they want eight people. Well, that's going to be a slow build. Uh, let's take one person off of each of these jobs. And there. Problem solved. Go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so we got an improved house over here. we got one that needs firewood. Get, send a child. That's what they're good for. Children are good for running errands and going and picking up stuff. Well, I suppose... I, see all that stuff just poof, just sprouted right there. How about that? I suppose I could shift this road over a tile. Nah, maybe I can't. It may be up against that shack. Yeah, up against the shack. So that ain't gonna fly. Okay, so we still have an issue here. There are three people allocated. Huh. I don't know. This look at this dude. Seriously. Hold it. You. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Hold up. String it. In the butt, Bob. Goodbye. You're, you're, toot your horn. Back to work. All right. Do we have, uh, what did you just walk out here for? What is the problem, officer? Now. We don't have enough trees to 
Um, once we get the screw built, we'll be okay. Okay, there's still... We need lots of trees. Hmm. Alright, so I need to get the collector types. Collectorating some trees, like all that. And then for giggles, let's increase the priority. Cool. Okay, we'll get that school built. Trees over here are growing. That's good. We don't want to, don't want to start tearing the, kicking them down just yet. Let's uh, let's do this. Take this path right here and run it a little further out. Yeah, like that. And there goes the buzzer on the dryer. It's my closer dry. Hooray. Let's do this also. Let's take these guys out of wood cutting at the moment and get everyone busy chopping down trees and eating their lunch. And see, there's more trees we can reap over here. Go get those. <laughs> uh, this is baffling me just a little bit. Now, if I build the next next one out, that's going to go there, like that. So I'm going to need. How many spaces? I think I'm going to need two pieces, one or two, of um, bridge, and then another T section to get to it. All right, Melanie, get to work. Welcome to the party. We'll build that and then see how things work out. How are we doing on the scroll? Oh, we need nine. Well, there we go. How are we doing? We still need, still need, you know, guys, still need 50 more trees. Um, 50 more logs. I think we've got enough firewood here. Early summer. Yeah, we're okay. Ain't a whole lot there to clear right now. I think we just cleared that stuff out and it's regrowing. All right. All right. They've kind of cleared out over here. This guy's still in planting mode. Let's go ahead and switch you over. You can go back into planting during the winter. And how's this looking? All right. That's good. Let's get donkey. Get you moving uh, 220 stone. From there to the off. Take off, eh? Okay. You know, I hate to say this. I got a bad feeling about this. I have a feeling we're going to get a tornado soon. Haven't had one like last year. So, let's get the sneaky suspicion. We're going to get an indication. Oh, the school's done. Hooray. So now we can put a teacher in the school. 
to educate the children. Children. We got 11 babies. That's good. We timed that pretty good, I think. We're going to have more productive workers real soon. Hooray. Okay. Summer. Temperature is going up or coming down? 78 right now. 80. Oh, still going up. That's right. Flax harvest is twice a year. Twice a year. Maverick has grown up and is ready to study. Kate is ready to work. So Maverick, you're going to school, son. You're going to Top Gun. All right, now we got some logs in the inventory. That's good. Let's go ahead and put a couple people back on uh, firewood production here just to keep the numbers up. Okay, so one more uh, look over here. I'm still. Oh wow, we've got a ton of meat all of a sudden. I just noticed that. That's awesome. Sweet. I know the people like that. They're having steaks for dinner, baby. Yeah. Okay, so we got to put you. The building is almost full. I'll crap on a stick. That's going to be the warehouse, I think. No, it's not the warehouse. That's not that. What building is almost full? This one? No. It must be this one, then. Oh, that one's getting full. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. There's there's stuff we can do here. Donkey. Let's see where we're at. Let's move all those animal hides over. Yeah, he's got like one more uh, run to make. Yeah, now people out here clearing all this schmutz out. That's good. Yeah, we can go ahead and get Donkey to uh, make that run for us. All right. Come move animal hides. Wait, did I get the right thing there? Animal hides. From here to here. Fly out. Where the hell are all the animal hides? Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explains that. we got lots of laborers going right now, and that's a good thing. Oh, you know what I don't have going is gatherers. Let's throw a couple of gatherers out. We're in late summer. See? Uh-huh. What did I tell you guys? I told you. And there it is. The weather's perfect. I was expecting it during the rain. But no. Now a fracking tornado is coming along. You dirty little sucker bastard. Now, the, only, the good thing is, now I've realized, <laughs> genius me, that... You can see it on the mini-map. It's right there. So we're going to trek our way. Oh, we're looking the wrong direction. No, now we're really looking the wrong direction. And there it is. Right in front of us. You little bastard. Stay the hell. My village is not named Moore, Oklahoma. All right? Stay away. Stay away from my village. Oh, it's coming right for... Oh, you bastard! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, no! The humanity! He curved around! It went through twice! And now he's going to hit... Oh, is he going to hit the warehouse? Oh, f effer! Son of a bitch! Did you see what he... Oh, I hate that! Oh, man, it came through and freaking re... Right through the damn village. Twice! Came through and made more than a, a 90 degree turn. And that's what I hate! They don't do that! <laughs> El Reno was the rarest of rare... And it made a 90 degree turn. All right, well. All right, that excitement's over. Go away, bastard. All right, uh, late fall. What are we doing, what are we doing uh, numbers wise here? Oh, you know what? Hey, there's room I can see stuff now. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Looks like I'm maybe putting a house here. Yeah, we got room for a couple of houses in here. Let's throw one in. We're going to try to manage this quickly and get it done early fall. The temperature's dropping. I think we've got time to get this done. And there we go. Right there. Well, that's actually pretty. Nope, not there. There. Not there. 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 Not there. Uh. Huh. See, it says I can't build it that way, but, oh, wait, oh, that was so close. Wait, I think I've just got this very small 
window of opportunity. No, I guess that's it. Well, that's going to clog up a tile behind us, but it looks like it's not actually in contact with the house behind us. It looks like there's still one tile gap there. So that's, what, 10 by 11? And yeah, we're 10 across the front. Ah, screw it. Bastards. First you run a tornado through my village, and then this uneven ground, because somehow we can't build on uneven ground in this game. Alright, you guys, bring those apples in. Bring them taters in. Okay, so, uh, hooray! Jada is grown up and ready to study. She's going to be looking for Will pretty soon. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this because what I was wanting to do, Liliana is grown up and ready to work. Awesome. Uh, let's put this here. And now, of course, it gets dark. So I can't see damn tornado interrupted everything. No, don't move. Right there. Stay right there. Okay. So I think we need one more section of bridge and then we can put a T and that will have this uh, no, this. That will have this covered. Okay. I think that'll line us up. Okay. Well, we're not terribly fussed about that. We want to, want to watch this house. Definitely want to watch the house. Now, we got more firewood than we had. That's good. We got tons of meat. Fish is, uh, fish is starting to pick up. This is good. Maybe another fish farm, and we'll be in really super bueno shape. All right, there's three, four five yeah I'm slowing things down because I want to catch this right as it pops because we're going to, we're going to uh, immediately go into upgrade mode as soon as upgrade mode is complete we're going to tear down one of these shacks or we bing right there Nope, no, no time for anybody to get busy make babies. Ha! All right, let's get this upgraded here quickly. I need to upgrade these two houses, too. So we may keep the shacks in place. As soon as this upgrade is complete, these people will relocate to that house, because I'll put this house in an upgrade. And uh, that'll, that'll work out nice. See, now, this is the time I would expect the tornado to show up. During a storm. Hmm, because... That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, what do you do? How's everybody's week's going? Week going? Make sure you say hi in the uh, in the chat. Check in with your local airport code. That's typically what we do on my channel. If I'm playing Sim Airport or Tower 3D Pro, hope you enjoyed the episodes of that earlier this week. If you haven't, go check them out. Um, I tried doing some LaGuardia, and. Uh, Man, it just kicked my ass. So if you if you like frustration and the games where people where things go to hell in a handbasket, <laughs> that's what you should go watch. So uh, yeah, it was uh, I I would say entertaining uh, from that perspective. Okay, so we're watching. We got all the supplies here. Damn, that's loud. Uh, oh, we can handle one less. Yep. We're watching the construction progress. That's this number right here. So they're through five of 12 units of construction time. And, uh, oh, six. Okay, we're looking good. We're going to keep it on 10 times speed. When we get up to 10, we're going to drop it down to five. And then we'll round it out. And then we're going to put another house into upgrade. And that's how we kind of gradually grow the population. I mean, I want, the, I, I want to have the improved houses. Okay, so now... And a couple more. Net. Well, it does need a roof. Pink. Okay. Now, everybody's moved into it. And now, we're going to kick everyone out.
So, what the heck did you do that for, A Train? Well, you got to have beds for butts, right? Uh, people got to have beds and homes, or they go, uh, if they're homeless too long, it, the, the problem is you can't eat, okay? Um, now, I suppose I've never thought of it this way. Eureka. I just had a Eureka moment in this game. I've been playing it for over a year. Um, I suppose, ooh, the fields are about to go. How are we looking? 77 taters, that's good. Apples. Oh, man, y'all suck. You did not harvest quickly enough. These potatoes, we're going to lose some. The flax, we're going to lose some. That's eh, okay. We got a crap ton of flax. We got a lot of, um, got a lot of vegetables and the meat. We got a good balanced setup here. So, uh, going forward, we're going to look at, uh, start producing grain and what have you. But in the interim, um, all right. So you you so over here, right? Sixty nine is the amount of beds I have for my population, all right? And right now I have fifty two plus seven plus seven seven to seven is fourteen. Uh, yeah. So we have sixty five six sixty six people. Okay. Which means the shack, I could tear the shack down. That's an improved shack. That's an improved shack. I thought I threw a shack up over here somewhere. Just to uh, take, care, take care of the homeless people there that we briefly had. Anyway, the point is, uh, the minute you get housing available, people will start getting busy making babies. Alright? They'll, they'll see how they're expecting a baby. Yeah. Now. There's four people in the house. They're expecting a baby, which means five of the six beds are taken up. It's a small house that holds six people. Uh, it's an improved small house. Okay? The small house, which is what you the base builds. This is a small house. It holds five. The improved house, small house, holds six. Right? So um, what you want to do is what I was there, just monitoring the construction progress. Once it was complete, I hit pause so nobody's got time to start making babies. Then you move over to another location, and you could either tear down, say, an improved shack, and those people would move into the house. Okay? Or you can do what I did and put this house into upgrade. And that will add an additional bed, so we'll be able to continue growing the population in the same square footage that we already have uh, constructed. That's the, uh, the strategy there. Okay? But you kind of have to micromanage it because if you do what I did earlier and you lose three people because you were an idiot and you weren't paying attention, well, you've seen what not to do. Okay. So uh, let's let that roll tide roll. Now, in the next step would be as soon as this one upgrades, put this one into upgrade. We may well do that. Let's see where we're at. Ten times speed. But everybody's got a home right now, and this is good. And there's actually some extra uh, space. We got some young'uns. We got a good balance. And, and at this point in the game, we're in late fall of year 13 here. And the temperature is about to be... Ah, oh, Gardner Sithini died of old age. See, we're getting in that period of time after first 10 years or so, you'll start losing people for um, to old age. So, um, that's raining at 32 degrees. Oh, nope, there it was. Goodbye. All right, so we got, wait, all this, uh, wait, can we, wait, shoot, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so now I got to go, this is going to be a pain in the butt. First, let me get everybody out of the fields. Nobody's gathering. Uh, let's put two people here. Um, how's this? Um, yeah, it's almost full. What can we? What else can we move out of here? There's firewood that'll service them. 
Wait, that's five, four, thirty-four of... That's most of the village's firewood right there, damn it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that's not right. All right, donkey. Go retrieve some firewood. Bring it from this barn to the central barn. Yeah. This barn has no firewood either, but these, these people, these shacks are pretty close to this one, so they should be okay. All right. Let's see. So school's good. We can put... Go ahead and fill up the mine with people. And, uh, okay, we got this extra hookup built over here. <clears throat> so now let's look at this again. And then we got to go back and check the housing thing. Rotate, rotate. Okay, so now a T will connect us up to this one. Or an L. Or a cross... Well, there's a kind of an interesting thought. What if I did a crossroads? Hang on. E. That's what I'm looking for. What if I did a crossroad? We could build fish farms coming out this way. They'd stay closer to the shore. Hmm. All right, how about this? We will build a cross section and just flow with it. I'll have it open as an option. Plus, it could be a future connection back to land. All right, so we'll build that there. Put one more person on construction. Okay, very good. Now, we have 75 <coughs> beds. We have 65 butts. So, hopefully there's not enough babies in the pipeline yet, as it were. Five out of six there, four out of six there. Well... It's five out of six, technically. <clears throat> All right, so that means there's one bed available here. One bed available here, so that's two. Five of six here, there's one bed available there. That's three. That home is full. That's full. Excuse me, there's a bed available there. That's four. Five of six there. Okay, five. Good. So what that means, and there's five of six here. So what it means is there's enough beds available that if we go put this house into upgrade... Those people will have somewhere to go sleep, all right? You don't want them to starve or freeze, okay? So we're going to put this house in upgrade. Boink. And that puts some more people to work. Uh, weather's been terrific, dude. Oh, my gosh. So we had a, a really, we had a pretty rainy week last week. <clears throat> and um, over the weekend, it was kind of icky. I did the Japanese fall festival. It rained out the Plano Balloon Festival turned the field where they were supposed to do it into a lake. I was like, on Sunday, they should do a uh, a fishing tournament and mud uh, swamp buggy race. <laughs> um, so Oktoberfest was damp in Addison. Uh, I'm sure the Greek food festival, same thing. But they had like tents and stuff, so people were under that. I did the Japanese Fall Festival on Sunday. And, uh, it, okay, so it was annoying. There was mist, which was at times just almost hardly not noticeable. And other times it was misting and you could tell. <clears throat> it, was, it was pretty good. Made the ground wet. But it was the wind and the mist. It would have been okay if it had been just wind. It would have been okay if it had been just mist. The Japanese, in case you don't know, are pretty hardy people. They really don't care about the rain. <laughs> They'll get out and do whatever they got to do because they're going to do it. And it, it was awesome. So um, my buddy Stephen and I, we, uh, we set up and ran, uh, set up a display of Japanese trains. He brought out his models. And my gosh, we had like one of every Japanese uh, Shinkansen bullet train model on display. The, just the head car, you know, not the whole train. Uh, probably another 20, 25 commuter and express trains. We probably had, <clears throat> I remember some trams. 50 to 75 trains on display. We had a couple running on his little T-Track modules. We had some display boards talking about the trains and all that stuff. Um, and uh, so it was fun. We had a good time. It had been nice if, again, the weather had cooperated a little better. 
but uh, then uh, a cold front moved through yesterday. It cooled it off. It was like 60. It's in, the temperatures are in the 60s in the mornings now. It's up in the 80s. It's supposed to warm back up again. Unfortunately, we're picking up a little bit of heat, and it's like I spoke too soon. I thought summer was over, but um, it really kind of is. Uh, we're getting kind of a, a fall, early fall in uh, North Texas, and that's really cool. I'm really excited. We've had a lot of rain, which means, excuse me, the lakes are stocked. They're full. The reservoirs are full. And, um, you know, the trees aren't dry from drought. And, um, which means we may have a fall when the temperatures, you know, the temperatures gradually bleed off over. The, and, and you don't normally see temperatures this cool in September. Now, I know it's the end of September. But state fair is about to start, and typically we're hot through the state fair, and in like the third or fourth week of the state fair, boom, fall occurs, and there's two weeks of fall, and then blop, winter, uh, first week or so of November. But uh, things are looking really good this year if uh, we can just um, keep the temps down. I think they're going to sneak back up a little bit, and that's going to kind of suck. I, I've seen swamp buggy... Wait, maybe, yeah, you know what, I have seen swamp buggy races. I've seen video of them on uh, YouTube and on TV and stuff. Ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Um, and I was thinking about the, the swamp boat races. Those are a trip. Have you seen those? Where they get those little tiny boats and there's two guys, so there's like a driver and a navigator. And they have this really tight little closed course that's like a series of little islands with waterways that must be only like two feet deep between them. And they're only wide enough for the boat and maybe three feet on either side of it. And these boats haul balls through this little course. And they go around the same section like three or four times. It's almost like watching a, like a dog show where they have them jump over the same obstacle like three times and stuff because they'll go this way and then they'll loop back that way and then they'll cross over obstacle 12 a second time and then they'll cross it one more. Anyway, <clears throat> look that stuff up. Whew. Hey, I got two words for you. Insane. So uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, enjoy that. All right, we still don't have anything figured out here and I don't understand why. It's tying up 52 logs. Um... Hopefully they'll go, I just, I don't understand why that um, did that. Why it wouldn't have built. <clears throat> but now they can go recover the materials and allocate them elsewhere. Okay. So, um, boy, building materials are looking good. Oh, shoot. We got a bunch of logs out here. Donkey! Hold it. <laughs> Let's get it. Hold on. Holy crap. Donkey needs to get busy. Why is Donkey... Well, maybe the, the dude is... Okay, so we're going to put a second person on Donkey Caravans. We're going to have them move... Um, logs. From here to yeah, there we go. Good show, just like I planned it. <clears throat> All right, that'll get us a second donkey going. Of course, it's, uh, if you want something off the wall, there's always pumpkin regatta in Maine. Oh, lovely. So um, yeah, I have a friend who was just up there, Alex. Uh, and uh, man, I'd like to go visit Maine this time of year. She she sent me pictures of the um, is it the trolley museum that's up there. You've been up there. You know that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's not going to be my gallery. Let me see where she went. Main narrow gauge railroad company and museum. Alex, you been up there? She took some really nice pictures inside some of the old coaches and stuff. 
I'm sure you have. Oh, now I got the hiccups. Stupid. Camden has grown up ready to work. We got kids studying. Oh, it's full. The school is full. Well, darn. It means one kid won't get educated, but that's okay. Because you always need one who, you know, isn't. All right. Oh, and this is good. This is good right here. So we're going to uh, actually, as soon as this uh, completes here, or it's getting pretty close, and it's getting pretty close, we're going to tear down one of these improved shacks. We're going to take this one out right here in front of us. Okay, the builders must be on break. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Finish it up. Can a bunk port? Uh, you know what? She didn't say where. Okay, very good. So that's done. Now we're going to put this improved shack in the demo. And that will take care of that. Yes, it knocks out four beds, but that makes rooms for, for 12 more. All right. Uh, it's just it's just the what I say it's the main narrow ga live steam and narrow gauge museum I don't know where that is main narrow gauge railroad company and museum I don't know GTS dude find it all right there's the uh, deal is out of the way. Now we can, uh, we could go ahead and build another house. But I think well, we're good on food right now. Yeah, all right. So we want to actually start looking at allocating some resources towards, uh, oh, you need to go into planting mode. Uh, yeah, I can close you down. And you're over here. You are in... All right, this is still showing is really full. Gosh, the majority of vegetables are over here. How is that possible? <laughs> is this... <laughs> this freaking three fields over here. I don't know. Maybe just more people live over here, so they're drawing off the supply over here. All right, we're going to... Donkey. All right, close that route down. We're going to reallocate you to moving vegetables from this overloaded barn here this not so overloaded barn here there we go that'll work this this one has all the fruit okay winter ooh 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 ugh, that doesn't look good hold on full stop on this stop the kilning we're back up to 140 tools. Of course, we only have one person doing it. And again, I say this every time, but you know, whatever. With the kilners, they'll 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 turn firewood into charcoal, right? The problem is, then the villagers will come get the charcoal out of the uh, barn, take it to their homes for heating and cooking. Now, my understanding is it will last longer than firewood, but I don't want to use for that. <laughs> I want it used for making tools. So, <laughs> screw you guys. <laughs> Use the firewood. That said, we're in a little bit of a crisis on firewood at the moment. It's not looking good. Let's see if we got... We got three people working here. Alright, so our supply over here is going to be down a little bit. We got a second person working there. And uh, I think we can start reaping the trees over here. Oop. Uh, yeah, you. Let's go back into tree clearing mode. Ah, temperature's back up. Spring has sprung. Very good. Let's get the people out of the clay mine and really allocate them back to the fields. And put some there. I'll put a couple. And the gatherers. Uh, you know what? No, we don't need a gatherers hut going right now. That's fine. We didn't need that. Uh, we really don't need the 
that going. Okay, let's try this. Now, see, this has not. Hmm. I wonder if, if I, when I save and reload the game, if this will correct itself because. Okay, that's what, all right, so that's, that's why that's showing up. Okay, fine, screw you, hippie. Uh, let's go down here and try building another one over here, then. I think that's right, I think we're good right there, yeah, right, yep, yep. Boom. All right, put three people on that. Now, let's see if they'll build this one. Okay, a baby's been born. Hooray. Let's see here. We want the fields over there. That's good. That's a good location. Okay, the fields are manned. This is good. Alright, so we were looking at putting in the windmill earlier. I think this look stove fuel reserves are low. Yes, they are. I see that. You're correct. All right, let's see if I can pull in some trees here. Probably just clear out the swath in here. Yeah, the swath across here. And let's increase that. Okay, that should keep us in business there. Plus these trees are getting cut down over here. That'll help. Uh, it's just the lumberjacks are not keeping up. Sawmill, what's the problem, sawmill? <laughs> Pardon me. Hmm. I don't know. But the number is still dwindling. This is not good. I don't like seeing this. Take people out of tool production. Really don't need her making um, stuff at the moment. Let's cut these trees down here. Those should go into the uh, warehouse right there. Ah, boy. Maverick has grown up and is ready to work. All right, Maverick. Fish farm, construction complete. Hooray. Let's put somebody on that. Take these people out of that. Good. All right, so we got that one built. That's good. Uh, let's see here. 53, 65, 70 people. We got two beds available. All the houses are now upgraded, so this is good. We do have lots of logs. Okay, now the uh, number's coming up for the uh, firewood. So we are through our little crisis here. So, back on the build tip. Let's get a house built here. Uh, hey, uh, Alex, you going out to the show this weekend? If you're in the DFW area, there's the uh, Plano train show that's going on this weekend. It's put on by the North Texas Council of Model Railroad Clubs. And it's pretty cool if you've never been. If you've been a couple times, then it's kind of the same stuff you saw last time. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. Nothing new, unfortunately. That's the way it works. All right, fish numbers are looking pretty good here. I'm liking this. Let's... I guess I needed to put people on building the house, didn't I? Yes, I know you can't get to it, but that's okay. Now you can get to it, so build it. Yeah, we kind of got a little bit of a deep water section here, so this should bring in fish. I would like to see that fish number get up to where the... Um, 
Uh, you gonna be running something with Spring Creek? That's usually what you do, right? I'd like to see the fish numbers to get up to where the meat numbers are. Those meat numbers are looking really good. Question is, where is all of it? There's a good chunk of it. Not much of it here. Where the hell? Oh, okay. Uh, that's the warehouse out there. There's a ton of it there. Donkey! Alright, so we need to... We need to do a couple things here. Um, they're felling trees. While the weather is good, let's get some, uh, pick up some resources here. Here, just pick, yeah, just go pick all that stuff up. Get busy, people. <laughs> pick all that stuff up. We'll, we'll send Donkey over to pick it up and move it around. All right, speaking of Donkey, let's move some of that meat over here. Alright, so you got no fire, you got no logs to move, that's good. So let's turn that off. Let's move meat from here to here, to the central repository. And what we'll be able to do is um, move this well. Probably move that well right here. Let me see. Oh boy. I sense a tornado coming. Ah, wait. Yeah, we're going to put the well right there. So we'll decommission this well. We'll build that well. Oh, 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 hey, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of wood here. And we've got good resources on ore and stone. We've got lots of people running around still gathering stuff. I wonder if I build a... Um, path. Where's that uh, warehouse? It's right there. Of course it gets dark when I right when I need to see it. Okay, so it's right there. Let's build a road straight out this way. Okay, that's good. And uh, then we'll start uh, going after stuff in that area. Mal M Makai has grown up ready to work, and Brandon has grown up ready to study. Cool. Good show. All right, you guys are bringing that up. All right, lumber's looking good. All right, now you have reaped this area, so let's go back into planting mode. Summer, we're at summer, we're at peak heat. Start bringing those apples in now. We don't have to have 2,800. Start bringing in those potatoes. You bring in those potatoes. All right. I, I just am getting, I think we're close on this fish deal. So what we're going to do here, put in a T-section. That. All right, and then we'll build another fish farm. Yeah, I know, it's a lot of fish farms. It seems like nine is a good number to have, and we have eight. I mean, I've, I don't know if they nerfed them. I kind of think they nerfed them. I kind of think so. Hunter Dane died of old age. Aw, Dane. Sorry. It's a pisser. Let's allocate some people. Well, we don't have to allocate that many to gather. Eh, go, screw it. Go gather. Meanwhile, while the weather's good, get everything. We get all that stuff. All right now, we should have gotten this road built over here, which means we should be able to gather more stuff over here. Uh, I kind of want to gather. Okay, so here's here's the road. Kind of want to use like a quadrant system here, and we'll all the way down to the beach. Yeah, there we go. Gather much much. Ah, that's a good one, Alex. I like that. Just for the halibut. Ha! <laughs> ha! You want some corn chowder with that halibut? Ha! <laughs> uh, putt putt for the halibut. Um, Alright, once that gets built, we'll throw this in here. 
Boy, we need someone that builds this fast on uh, James's Railroad, don't we? Nice. There we go. Allocate three people there. Angela has grown up and ready to work. Good. Get busy, Angela. Now. Uh, oh, wait. I do have a funeral pyre over here, don't I? It's right there. That's the well. There's the pyre right there. Yeah. Okay, so that covers all that. I, uh... I, uh... I think she needs to get to work. All right, so lots of uh, lots of logs and stuff. Uh, so what to do about the? Oh, see, here we go again. All right, little effort is right here. It's coming right for us. God, that pisses me off. Oh wait, now it's going away. Now just go off the map and disappear. Nope, it's turning back the other way. Now it's coming straight. Oh, it's going the other way. Dun 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 dun. Oh, now it's made landfall. Oh, Jesus. Nope, nope, it's going the other way. Roller coaster of love. Say what? Roller coaster. Look at this. It's made freaking like California an earthquake on the Richter scale. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. Go away. Don't go away mad. Just go away. It's thinking about it. The computer's sitting here saying. How can we piss a train off this time? The building is almost full. Oh, okay. Yay! It went away and it didn't touch us. We didn't even see it. Hooray! It was spotted, but wasn't spotted. Okay, this building is in good shape. Which building is almost full? Oh, this is good. All right, so this is why we set this up. We are going to demolish that well right there. And we're going to build a new barn facing this barn. So we have two barns right there. Oops, wait. No, we need another person. Okay, and the fish farm is coming along nicely. Let's go ahead and roll with that. Ryan has grown up and is ready to study. This is good. All right, good. Now we're done with the... Uh, now, let's get a barn. Okay. I think I'm looking at the... Whoops, no. Answers that question. I was looking at it correctly. Uh, oh, wait, it's on. The, there we go. There we go. Um, two path. There we go. Boom. That will upgrade our storage capacity here in town. Very good. Fish farm construction is complete. Very good. Somebody else on fish farming. Yeah, we got some crappy weather, don't we? Jeez. The building is on fire. Oh, somebody's house is on fire. Go put the fire out, people. Bucket Brigade. All right, they got the fire out. Now they'll repair the house. Now we got another building on fire. Jesus H. Oh, the shack's on fire. Oh my God! <laughs> it's like th <laughs> this. This house caught on fire. Then the shack caught on fire. And now this house is on fire. Gee, many Christmas people. All right. Okay. Let's get out. Get repairs made so you can see the damage done here. Oh, they fixed it. Everything's fixed. Hooray. Okay. Are we done destroying stuff yet? We, uh, where are we on gathering schmutz? Oh, we got lots of, here comes the snow. Okay. And now it's showing rain and now it's frozen. All right, very good. So now 
Everything's done. Kennedy has grown up and is ready to work. Very good. Just don't be driving a sedan with a chicken and over a bridge. Make sure to learn how to um, swim and extricate her from the vehicle in case you're drunk. All right. Um, let's look at, have we drained out the meat from here yet? No, but we, we have left, that's enough to leave there. How are we looking here? This is looking pretty good. We got lots of meat. Uh, the fish is still not at a very good number, but I think we can stop this transfer. We'll continue this transfer. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... Well, these people over here have uh, fruit. So they have meat and fruit. So that's good. They're good to go. Um, hmm. Got all those hides. I guess we can move... We don't need to move them. We've got a freaking crap ton of them right here. Okay, that's fine. Let's look one more time over here. This. All right, so where are we going to build? Now we have the resources to build our windmill. This is good. So we want it to be fairly close in to town. Unfortunately, this ground over here is all jank. So unless we do some terraforming, which I not too apt to do. I say that, but this would actually be, mm, wait a minute. It says shallow water in here. I don't want to build the port in shallow water, but this is a nice little cove. I wonder if we could terraform that deeper. I don't know if that works. Hmm. Hmm. So it might be better, better building the port over here. Of course, there's no barns nearby, and you got to haul crap from the barns to the port to stock the ships to go on the expeditions. So, hmm. Should we look at building, let's try building another uh, fish farm. Let's put it there. Numbers wise, it's all good. Let's just see if it'll build. That's the key. Plus, I got 33 people with their thumbs up their butts at the moment. So let's put them there. A couple there. A couple there. A couple there. All right, that gets everybody busy there. And cool. All right. Um, so. Let's talk about this orchard. I could wipe it. I mean, we've got plenty of food. Problem is, if I wipe it out, I gotta wipe out the whole thing. Be great if I could just wipe out part of it, but all right, let's wipe it out. And we're gonna rebuild, and we'll go a year where we're short on um, fruit. We'll have the gatherers pick it up. What we'll do is extend this path down and then split it into two separate orchards. And then we'll put it on two different growing se uh, se schedules. I could put a third small one probably down over here, maybe. Not sure. We'll see. yet to be determined. Yeah, see, we've got a nice, nice, neat line we'll be able to make straight through the orchard space. It'll almost connect over here, but not quite. Barn construction complete, that's good. That gives us another location here. All right, good. So what are we, what are we toting? All right, 
I uh, want to change that route. We're going to tote vegetables. Yeah. Actually, we're going to move some fruit around. We'll set up two routes. We're going to set up one that moves fruit from here to here. We're going to take another one that moves vegetables from here to here. All right. Cool. And go. Is this getting built? Yes. All right. This is good. Good show. Materials are there, and now it is being constructed. Sweet. Another fish farm. Clay digger Gannon died in an accident. Well, Gannon probably was an old man. So, sorry, Gannon. Sucks to be you. Okay, ah, there we are. We're done. Hooray. Okay, so pause. Let's build the road. It's lined up. Okay, that'll build the road. Unfortunately, I can't really see where the road is because winter. That said, I have a pretty good idea where it is. And it's right there. All right. So we know we have a one tile path there. Therefore, this is the corner of our orchard. Hooray. Go a little bit smaller on this one. I think I'm going to try to squeeze another one in between here and the coast. 22 by 14. That should be by 4 by... So 24 trees, I think, is what they'll put in that space. Yeah, that'll work. Could go here... But again, I, try, I think I'm going to try to go. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so now we got that one. Now we're going to come back over to this corner. And we're going to build this out to the full extent of the, well, to the fullest extent we can. <laughs> we're kind of screwed here on this edge because we've got that rocky ledge. But that's okay. All right, so we'll build that orchard there. We'll move the scarecrow over. Uh, let's tear him down so we can move him and then I uh, once these are built we'll see what we've got this space down here to uh, let's just take a gander see if we can get an idea on so we got that up there is going to be fields oh you know what uh, it could be janky nope nope there's room that's pretty, hey, 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 yeah, there's room. That's pretty good right there. That gives us three pretty good size orchards. So if I back this down one, that makes it the same size as the other one. All right. I like it. I think we'll go a little bit bigger, though. We'll go there. Because we got plenty of people to man the fields. Okay, good. Three new orchards. Get busy. And we still have to deal with the issue of the um, mill. So, I, I think we were looking over here. I kind of need these trees cleared out. So, where's our woodcutter there? Chop down trees and eat your lunch and have butter scones with tea. That might be my favorite piece that I don't include in these videos anymore. It's, you can't do it with the live stream. Well, I guess I probably could if I were smarter. I knew how to do all that stuff, but I don't. 
So, too bad. But, uh, edit in some video. Let's see, let's see here. Holly has grown up as ready to work. Good. Oh, we must be done with uh, the orchards or something. I wasn't paying attention there from that. Whoops. Great. All right, let's see what we got going here. Where are we? Oh my gosh, this is a cold winter too. Yikes. Oh man, I could have made... Oh wait, no, because we have another one here. All right, so let's set up a scarecrow here-ish. Good. <clears throat> and we got one right there. That one's covering those two fields. We do not have one up here, though. We need one up this way. Oh, wait. We got this one. So all but, like, one tree of that field is covered. And this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Those two fields are pretty well covered. Very good. All right. Um, hmm. Can't really make that slope right there. What would... Holy crap, that is not what we want. Um, terraform, create a ramp. Well, not exactly. Nope, see? You're not even... There. Let's create a ramp. Maybe that'll smooth that out a little bit. Child Odin has grown up and is ready to study. Hmm. Odin is in our midst, is he? Hmm, the old father. Alright, so... Oh, this is important. Apples. Okay. I guess we could have gone one step further with this one and, you know had this one going one closer to the beach but that's okay we're pretty close that's uh that's pretty good i don't think we're going to plant this field we're going to plant this one first work it for a year then go this one and then we'll go this one on the third year all right temperatures are up Look at that, we still got room to have four, a full crew in the mine. <laughs> Get out of the mine, people. Come gather stuff. We got tons of clay. All right, and oh, we need another fish farmer. Hooray. So, since we need another fish farmer, that means we need, we can build another fish farm. And I wanna see, I, I really want this maxing out on um, fish income. I mean, our meat income looks good. Let's put some people in the gatherers' huts. Put five of them out there. Stuff is getting gathered nicely out here. This, okay, whoa, whoa donkey. <laughs> Stop that route. 
and we'll keep moving stuff because it takes a while to move it so they're bringing stuff in all right very good so this uh, orchard this orchard is in pause mode oh only one person tends that that's good okay so how many people tend this to tend this and to tend this hooray all right good so that one's in pause as well all right, so that means we only need two people working the orchards. Good. So now we've got more area of orchard and less people to work it. Because I think we had six previously when it was this huge swath over here, right? Which would have been, what, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there would have been a tenth one. So when it was 50 trees, we had like six people tending that. So now we've made it more efficient. Now, that said, if we had made this field the same size as the other two fields, then, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We would have the same. We'd still have six people, but we'd have separate. Aha. Hey, at least it looks like the path goes through now. <laughs> Yay. All right, that looks cool. And which part do we not have covered? We've got room for another field or two out here. That's good. Tons of flax, tons of veggies. Should have more fish coming in. Good stuff. Are we piling up supplies here, people? Yep. There we are. Hmm. So they're piling them up off of this corner to this corner. Some are coming to this corner. It's all our iron ore. Is it over? It's out here at the warehouse. Well, there's a bunch right there. Donkey! from there to here. There's no firewood in this section of town. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. Not much though. Hmm. We sure do have a lot of... Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to upgrade our Fire, uh, firewood production. Oh, shite. Here we go again. Alright, it's down at the bottom of the map. It can't just go off the map. It's coming back up. Now it's going back down. Alright, now it's dark. And I can't see what I'm doing. I need to... Seven by seven, right? Yes. Okay. Go away, tornado, you bastard. There you go. All right, we got lucky. Two years in a row, we've gotten lucky. So that means we'll probably get screwed next time. Uh, okay, we have... All right, we're maxed out on people. So to get more babies born, we either have to have people die or we have to build more houses. I prefer the latter. So let's look at building a new house right here-ish. And that looks about right. Oh, we have another new fish farm. Hooray. All right, look, that numbers of fish is coming up. Yes, that's what we want to see. 
That's what we were looking to see. All right, Lumberjack's Lodge is complete. We're going to upgrade to Sawmill. Go ahead and get that upgraded so we've got that additional capacity available. All right, ah, if the damn lights had quit going out on me, I can see what I'm doing. All right, uh, I almost think it's time to move that uh, Forester's Lodge further out of town. And we could utilize that space for the mill. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to move. We're going to start some additional construction out here. Oh, wait. Crap. Where are we on numbers? Damn it. I snoozed. 66. Oh, wait. We should be okay. 66. Oh, we got two small houses. Crap, I didn't upgrade one of them. No wonder. All right. Um, 7277, which means we should have five empty beds. So we should be good to do this. Uh, poop. We may have been off by one. Juliet is working. All right, so let's do this. Get this building built, guys. Juliet needs a place to live. This is going to be stupid as hell, but, oh wait, the house is almost done. Okay, so now we should be able to upgrade this one without an adverse effect. Because this added an additional bed, so Juliet's got a bed. And I just went ahead and started building a hut down here. So some poor schlub is going to live in a hut but only if, you know, they wind up homeless. Psh, of course two people moved in. <laughs> hey, let's go camping. Where are you going camping? We built a hut across the street. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. You can't upgrade the hut. So you have the hut holds two people. Then you go to a shack, which holds three. You improve a shack. Then you get four. House holds five. And um, then you upgrade the house upgrade the small house and it holds six maybe that was the key was uh, how did the bear get in the damn village somebody shoot the bear shoot the bear dude Rrr. Toast. Toot your horn. Back to work. Okay, very good. Now, so we are going to build a new little cluster, I guess, out here. Let's get a Forester's Lodge built right here. Are you going to let me build it? There we go. Looks like a good place for a stick up. And we could start building. So foresters are going to live out there. We probably ought to build a shack. Then improve the shack.
Ah, there we go. Wait, let's move it right here. On the corner. On the street corner. Come on. Come on. And where are you going? Bowen died of old age. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Bowen. Really? Really? You're being stupid. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shack. Baby has been born. Hooray! Uh, we need two people for this. You guys are going to go in full on lumberjacking mode. Now, that said, where is it? Late summer? Okay, hold it. Pause. Bring in the fields. I know you've started, but that's your full-on focus. You get that done. You get that done. I wish I could say, hey, take your potatoes to this barn. That is the closest barn. Oh, yeah, there are. No, okay, it does stay pretty well stocked, I guess. So... All right, very good. So that'll keep that moving. All right, now we can go in and take out this guy. Oh. We'll get that out of the picture. We've got a gatherer's hut here. We've got a shack here. We might move hunters further up the way. So as soon as this shack is built, uh, we're going to look at improving it right away. Uh, it puts it a little bit away from civilization, though. So we may need to build a barn up here. We may need to build a field up here. I think we're going to get a barn built up here. Shoot. I can't see. Ah, oh, I can kind of see. Okay. Um, okay. Bear, go away. Wolf, go away. <laughs> Jerks. You guys are going to get killed dead here pretty quick. All right. Um... keep a person there. Alright, we got paused here. Let's get this barn placed. It's being finicky with me. We've got a little bit of terrain to deal with here. So we're going to one tile down. There we go. Crap. Okay, here we go. Right there. Yeah, one tile. Yep, there we go. We're in the right place, and... Okay, good. That'll work there. Uh, and then what we'll do is move the gatherers, build a gatherers hut out here. And then maybe build an additional small uh, shack, improved shack. We can shuttle firewood back up here from down here. Or we could build a lumberjack's lodge. So it'd be almost like that other little village section we've got. I think that's a pretty good idea. All right, let's go ahead and start moving ahead here.
clear that tree out, I'll be able to see better. Boom. Now that's done. Improve that. Yep, go. Alright, so we got a shack there. Uh, we could put a an additional shack here. Ish. Oh, great. Here comes the tornado. And it's coming right into the frickin' village. You bastard. I told you. Okay, that's built. We just set up to build an additional shack. We've got Z's on this Oh, he's tired. Hmm. Well, Beckett, go home. If you're tired, <laughs> there's an easy solution to that. So now, we need this barn built, though. So let's up its priority, because we need to shift some food. And let's watch this a-hole tornado rip through the village. Just right there. Okay, it's going for the new section. It just Oh, it just skimmed the new section. Now it's coming right through the middle of the town. And it wiped out that... Oh my god, it went across like five houses. Douchebag! God. Why are people tired? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... And get that started. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at with stuff. Barn has vegetables, meat, and fish. Why the, how the hell are the fish getting over? The, these people, I guess they're closer to get to there? Huh. All right, well, we're stockpiling fish, though, and that's good. That's what I was wanting to see. Now, that said, this barn should be stockpiling some fish. Or should about to be about to be stockpiling some fish. Um, we're going to try. Oh, no, we're not, because we don't have enough trees. So we need to get some trees chopped down here real quick. There. That's a... Uh, that should help. <laughs> 500. Yeah, that's a good number. We've got to build back up our uh, log inventory. We've got good firewood. So as soon as this barn gets complete. Okay, shack, improve, build. Need this barn complete, people. Remove some food over there. The baby's been born, that's good. So there should be a couple of, yeah, foresters and builders. So that's good. So the people building over here. Are right next to their job. Because they're tired, probably from running back and forth. Well, I can get you supplies, but you got to finish the damn barn. That's the thing. Food reserves are low. Yeah, I know. We're working on dealing with. Oh, speaking of dealing with that, hang on. Uh, let's let's deal with that. All right. So we need a mill. 
And we just about got the space for it right here, but the gatherer's hut's in the way. Damn it. Okay, that's all right. We can work with that. We, we're going to move the gatherer's hut up the hill here. So we're going to build us a new gatherer's hut since it's about to be out of season anyway. Uh, this one will hold three people. So we'll take it out of commission. And that's going to take two more people there. Now we got a bunch of logs. I think if we build one more fish farm, we are going to be cooking with gas, as it were. I just, I'm going to... I want to try to put it out here. If we can't put it there, what I think we can do is build the bridge out here to this point. It just doesn't make sense because it's worked before. So maybe something was just being stupid. I don't know. Okay. All right, so hopefully that will get cranking. Come on, guys. We're going to lose some fruit. We're going to lose a bunch of fruit. Gee, many Christmas. We lost a crap ton of fruit. Oh, well, that's right. We, didn't, we weren't pulling as much fruit as we were previously. Once we get these three up and cycling, then we'll be in good shape. All right, we need no gatherers. Oh, no, 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 no. We need hunters. In fact, I'm thinking about the up build a new hunting cabin out in this new section. Uh, let's put a half dozen a dozen people in the, there. That's all good. Alright, do we have meat, vegetable supplies? I think part of the issue is when you clear out all this stuff like you clear cut everything, I think that the animals leave that area. So the hunting's not as good. I bet there's meat over here though. Yeah, huh? That's what I thought. There's meat and fish there. Meanwhile, in town, there's little of either. There's lots of veggies. So you know what that means. Donkey! Uh, we're going to add a route to bring meat. From there to there. All right, let's see how this fish... See if this is going to work. Odin has grown up. Hey, the barn's complete. Hooray. Full stop. All right. Donkey! <laughs> I need you to tote some food and firewood up the hill. Yonder. We have no firewood. How do we not have firewood when there's... Oh, gee, many Christmas. The firewood is all over here, I guess. All right. Yep, there's most of it. Damn it. How is that working now? Jeez. These guys are really inefficient or... Oh, maybe it's all getting eaten up here. All right, so we're going to shut down them. That might be part of the problem. Donkey! Go get firewood. You're going to transfer firewood from here to here. It says there's 234 there. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to use another donkey. Kira died of old age. Oh, Kira. Kira Norris. We'll miss you. Quick, what's that from? Character. Kira Norris. And I think I've got one more donkey I can work with. 
and we're going to move vegetables howdy from here to here the building is almost full the building is almost full um okay i guess all right I should move. Okay, good. We got more vegetables there than I thought. What's the route I have? This one here. 3,298. We're going to delete that route. We're going to put that route here. There. That'll be more efficient. Move everything central, and then we send it out from there. Now, we have space. I guess we don't have any Star Trek fans among us. Alex, you should have gotten that. It's Kira Norris, the Na Visitor's character on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. The Bajoran head of security or whatever, first officer. Whatever the hell her position was. She was cool, too. I met her in person. She was a sweetheart. Her house had just been hit by an earthquake at <laughs> that time. Okay, so I have an idea. Here's the idea. You ready for the idea? We'll put the uh, hoopa jupe out here where it's open. And there's lots of space. And we're going to put fields around it. I could put it right here. Uh, I dr it moved. Okay, I'm looking east. Winds are typically out of the west. If I'm looking east, then this is facing west. Hooray! <laughs> I got it right. All right, so we're going to put this right... How big is this damn thing? I can't even see the frickin' stats. 20 by 20. All right. So I can't back it up to there, because then we lose the... All right, so 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I can make it narrower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, good. There's twenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Frack it. That'll do. All right, there is our project. You guys going to planting mode here. All right, we got vegetables, we got firewood, we got hides coming in. We're going to put the hunter's lodge out here now. Because that makes sense, right? And then the next thing will be the... Um, seven by seven. Boom. And the next thing will be a, a lumberjack lodge. And then this... Uh, and then we'll put a little field out here. Clay Digger Harmony dies in an accident. Oh, Harmony. Gee, I really love you and I want to love you forever. Alright. 
this uh, project does not seem to be going as planned. Okay, so to get that built, I think what we're going to need to do is build a little bridge action here. So let's do this. Let's take this and go. Okay, so we need a ramp first. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. This is going to eat up a bunch of our logs. Okay, but that should work. Okay. All right, coming in spring. This is good. See, now these trees are mature. These trees are starting to sprout, right? So we will not get a yield this year. Well, we might. Okay. Uh, it might prove me wrong. Let's clear out the mines. Did we get a late frost? Are we getting a late frost? We're getting a late frost. It's wanting to say we're getting a late frost. Okay, wait a minute. Somebody is allocated to a job. That's why it's got a Z over their head. That's what it is right there. Okay, they weren't tired. They're trying to tell me something. Oh, you know what? I can't freaking run donkey routes if I don't have people allocated. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do... is we want to put in a little road. Like that. Okay, good. All right, and then we're gonna put us in a little field. I kind of want to have that one tile open for space. And over here, we're going to put in a field as well. It says we can't build in that area. Okay. Um, oh, because it's got too much slope. Okay, we're going to have to terraform it, kind of, sort of. Hopefully that will take care of that. Okay, now. Looks like the terraforming project is complete. Which means we can redo the road. And now... for giggles. Make that a double wide path. And now, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Not enough space. Got enough space now. Biatch. Not there. Oh, you know what? Screw it. That stupid... <laughs> yeah, forget the double wide road, guys. Forget the double wide road. Forget about it. Uh, let's see.
Okay, so hopefully I'll take care of that. So, there's a couple of farms, which will start growing grain. And um, we have a well. Oh, well, look, a convenient well right across the street. Fantastic. I love it when a plan comes together. Then the one other thing we want to put over here is going to be a scarecrow. Wish I could freaking make the field one tile where... All right, we're going to have to put it across the street. That'll cover most of it. We'll just put it right here by the lamppost. All right, good. That means we need two people because it takes two people to do all this stuff. Okay. Now, we got this is open. And we are going to move our hunters from this one over there. Yeah, we got a lot of people involved in construction right now. All right. This ramp is not done. Oh, we're out of logs. Hmm. Okay. You do that. Clear cutters. Let's clear cut. Yeah, our firewood's getting low, too. Let's hold up for a second here. Let's pause for station identification. That stone here. We do not have any fire... Uh, hmm. We don't have any firewood there. We don't have any there. Which means people are having a road trip for firewood. We must all be over here. Mostly. Alright, we need logs. Alright, this guy's built now. Hooray. So that's good. So, we're going to get these fields finished. We need some lumber. That guy's in planting mode, so we'll just clear stuff over here. There we go. All right, we only need seven builders, so that frees up those people to do that work. And go. Oh, oops. Minor technicality here. Stupid as hell, but it is what it is. So we can't reach this. Let me see if I can move, the, destroy the ramp. And rebuild it, and it will work. Otherwise... We will have to move all those sections again, which is going to suck, but... Oh yeah, we collected lumber rather quickly there, didn't we? All right, way to go team. Well done. Let 
Lucian has grown up and is ready to study. All right, that's swell. Holy cowabunga, gang. It's getting late. Uh. Oh, they get it done? They got it done. You cannot build in this area, so you have to build it here. Can't build there. Oh, you know what? That overlaps the other deal. Um, okay, so what that means is we've got to demolish. Wait, let's get this project just... Fish farmer, uh, I've... Well, there's two people dead. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, gosh, no, we lost three effectively. We were just minus three on population there. We lost a baby, we lost a mama, and we lost a lumberjack. Uh... Oh, Jesus, again? Oh, and it's coming this way again. God damn it. We got away with it two years. Why is it not letting me demolish? Um... It can't be reached because of this stupid deal here. Okay, so let me see. Oh, it's going to hit the new site. Nope, it's going right through the village, of course. Like we're more freaking Oklahoma. Thanks, asshole. Although it did kind of skirt through and kind of cut through the gap. <laughs> so, screw you, hippie. Get out of my freaking AO. All right, what we're going to need to do here is demolish this. People can reach that from shore. And I think they'll be able to reach. Wow, our meat really disappeared quickly, didn't it? Damn. Okay, so now that's demolished. I'm not sure how this got to that state when I paused it. Well, maybe I've got to just do that. And then I can... Whatever. Moron stuff. Okay, so the guy finished it demolishing this piece. I may have to terraform my way out of this debacle. Or just cancel the building of this deal out here. Dude's looking like, hey, all right, we built a bridge ramp for nothing. Okay, build that. Where are we at with these fields? Oh, these fields are ready. Hooray! Let's grow wheat. And you grow wheat. And we put two more people in the farming. Hooray! I know it's late summer. Now, yeah. I'll have it ready for next year. So now, I think... 
we're going to take this off pause, allocate a couple people to it, and let them start getting that ready. Yeah, see, this one's not producing this year. So we got the we got the cycle set now. Good. Okay. Now we got. One, oh, good. 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 All right. So now we're almost here. We're about to have this cluster. You know what? Figured out. All right. So we build this one. Then they'll be able to reach this to demolish it. Then we can move out, and then we'll be able to build this. And then we'll be in good shape. Hooray. Stone structures like castles. Oh, dude. I need. I would have to build stone mines. And all that crap. And right now I'm just kind of, you know, and that's something I haven't done. And I kind of wanted to do with this uh, this village and build. Hey, Sophie's going to school. Hooray. Um, so. Kind of, kind of work in that direction. Just a matter of, you know, getting it squared away. Uh, you know what? You know what we need? It's not that we need it. It's that it would be good to have. That's the primary village pyre. We're going to need one of those up here. Oh, man. I meant to build a field up here, too. Crap. And, oh, geez. There's all kinds of stuff I meant to build. Um, hang on. I need a gatherer's hut. Out here. Let's get that built. And, ooh, we're starting to run short on iron ore. Hmm. I don't think we've really cleaned this area out over here, though, of it. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we kind of have. Okay. All right, let's get this gatherer's hut built, and then they'll bring in some Rudy Toot Toot fruit. Oh, they did get, we did get some apples out of there. All right, sweet. God. Okay, now this guy needs to go back to planting. Meanwhile, we need to gather everything we can from over here. Okay. Try to get that gathered up before the winter sets in. And I need a farm up here. I'm just going to build a little one. It's not going to take right now. Uh, farm. That should do. Allocate some people back to um, stuff. Quickly get some people out gathering over here on this end of town. Hopefully they'll bring in some edibles and help up. Help, yeah. See, they get some food, firewood. Yeah, yeah. they're they're almost self-sustainable up here. Almost, almost good to go. Lumberjack will be next. I mean, I could move stuff. It's not like it's not being produced right here. But, I mean, there's... An, okay, there's 832 firewood. That's good. How much is up here? 467. Oh, that's plenty. All right, you... Quit moving that. Quit moving that. You can quit moving that. Quit moving that. Quit moving that. All right, donkeys are out of business for a bit. 
All right, we're actually going to get some uh, some wheat here too. Looks like, maybe. Mm -hmm. You guys hustle. And uh, yeah, this may work out nicely. We may pick up some wheat. I guess I could probably put one additional field in right here. Now we're going to make wheat so we can produce flour. You produce flour, then you can make pies. You make pies, that goes on the ship. And there goes our harvest. Goodbye. So, you people are out of the fields. You're out of the fields. You folks are out of the fields. Oh, you know what? We got a thousand. Um, let's go take a look up here. Maybe it's time to build a stone mine because with this many people sitting idle in winter, that's no good. This is going to be potatoes. Okay. And uh, we can put, wait, do we have a, we have a well up here? Oh, we do not. Well, that's essential. Got to have a well. Uh, let's see if I can squeeze a well in a space right here. I can. So I shall. Well there, and we need a funeral pyre up here too. That's a crypt. I don't want a crypt. I don't want the body stored. We'll put the pyre right back here, just behind. Oh, it's five by five. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, that way. Okay, good. So this is now a self-sustained little community up here. It's like the other one. We just need to build a, put a lamp in here. Not sure where the path goes. Build a lamp and build a scarecrow. Put the scarecrow right, here. we'll put the scarecrow on the side of the field. Okay, a couple people building. All right, we got the, uh, all right. So what I want to look at now is a stone mine. We need ore as well. So room for an ore mine up here. Could be. So, hey, there's a pretty good spot right there. It puts it far away from people though. Because a lot, we want to put a lot of people there, so they're gonna have to be in town. So we're gonna build this closer in the town. All right, here's a good spot. It's Three thousand or four thousand two hundred twenty-one. That's right on the path. That is near the um, forty-two sixty-four. Ooh, I saw forty-eight. I'm gonna go one square back. I don't want to cut the path here. All right, let's build an ore mine. And then let's see where we could find a stone quarry. Now, I know we had looked over here earlier. There's a space right there. Holy shnikey. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to build our stone quarry. Like 7,000 stone right there. Nice. You know what we haven't seen in a while? I must have scared them off. Or my kids must have scared them off. Um, is uh, uh, 
Um, uh, what am I trying to say here, Moron? Uh, raiders. We've seen tornadoes. We've had fires. Andre has grown up and is ready to work. Hooray. Okay, how are we looking up here? Uh, foods. Uh, it's there. What do we need over here? We need hay? We've got hay. Ah, oh, you know what? <laughs> We're getting short on hay. So... Say hey. I'm going to switch this field to grass for next year. That will restock that supply. Okay, uh, let's check back. we got plenty of firewood. We're still working on this issue over here. As soon as this, this ore mine is complete, we will stick some people in there. Although it's going to be late winter, the temperature's coming up, so it's going to be spring soon. We're going to have to man the fields. People working there now. Hooray. They'll need water, which they can get from here. Take right in. That's close enough. Actually, no, they just need wheat. So they'll pick it up from the barn, tote it in. Boom, and it's going. Hooray. That tree's kind of in the way, but that ore mine coming. How's our clay mine doing on? Oh, it's still got a bear of 3,000. Fish farmer Leandro died of old age. Sorry, Leandro. We'll miss you. Okay, 32 degrees. Okay, full stop. Man the fields. We're, we're going to take some of these people out as soon as this is done, which will be any second now. There it is. We're going to start allocating people to the ore mine. We'll take them out of the clay mine. There we go. And put a full crew in there. Now, next step is going to be to uh, gather enough trees so that we can um, build a stone mine. Yeah, we'll get that done. Is this up and running? This is up and running. Okay, so we've got our three three year cycle set. Sweet. Three orchards, they're all on different uh, schedules. I I don't know if this one will get close enough. If it won't, one more should. And we can start Hell, that's a lot of stuff. Clear all that out. All 
All right, so we've got flour coming in, which means we can start making bakeries pretty soon, which means we can start thinking about the seaport. So, the seaport. That would be this guy right here. That would work right there. We need more hay, which we're growing. So by the end of this uh, season, we'll be good. We need more trees, which we're cutting down. So we'll be good soon. And Beckett died of old age. Oh, man. Sorry, Beckett. Sad to see you go. We're going to try something. to lower I want to lower the ground in this area all right we may just have to have a shallow water port whatever okay how are we looking here supplies are looking good uh, the amount of wood is up substantially, which is good. Food is eh, looking a little questionable. Let's see where we stand up. Hey! Ta-da! Hooray! We're going to finally get our other fish farm. This is good. Tool reserves are low. Really? Because we dropped below 100. Donculus. And tornado comes straight through the village, just like that. Oh, wait, it's coming back for another pass. Turn away. Ass. Turn away. Ooh, it just turned away. Okay, Miller is grown up, is ready to work. This is good. And presto! Hooray! Alright, now we can effectively take this schmutz out. Because we don't need it. Unless we built another one right here beside it. Let's see what... I don't think it would line up properly though. And that's just a little OCD thing with me. Yeah, see, so it'd be one. It'd be one step back. Nah, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna take this bridge out. Section by section. Lots of firewood. Speaking of lots of... Shoot, we got lots of firewood. Hell, that means we're close to having the port. We should have enough for the port. Uh, okay, let's build the port. Okay. 
There we go. All right, boys and girls. Year 17, we got our port underway. This is good. Howdy. Um, maybe it's just isn't enough fish farms to keep up with the, the demand. It's a supply and demand thing. As we finish getting that section taken out. Nope, still not done. All right. Well, if that's the case, uh, what would it take? So we need to build... Jeez, stupid buck running along there. That's so dumb. That would have to go there, which means we would have to extend... I think we'll get more fish, though, if we go this way. We'll see. It's, it's a little further away, though, is the, the issue. So you're trading distance for quantity. All right, we finally get that removed. Another builder in play. All righty. Okay, late summer. So now we need to get... <gasps> no, cancel that. Belay that. How do I... No, no, don't... No. Bastards, no. Damn it. Oh, I just screwed that up. Well, it was coming to the end of its growth cycle anyway, so whatever. Shoot. I hate that you can't cancel things. All right. thought I had a different key selected. Or I didn't realize I still had that. All right, whatever. We'll figure it out. So I wanted I just wanted them to uh, harvest. Now that the temperature's coming down. All right, we got more grass in inventory now. That's good. Just take it out, and I'll just rebuild it. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Okay, are we ready to take out the next section? Okay, I guess it's done. Well, while you're standing there, take out the piece you're on. Oh, you can reach out from land. Sweet. We got the construction going over there. So we got our major buildings coming in. Now, now the next thing I'm thinking we need, because uh, I, you know, I started talking about this like an hour and a half ago, and I didn't finish my statement about it is a, a, the hostel. I've never really built one because I didn't know, I, I never really thought I needed one. But now it occurs to me, oh, the port's complete. Hooray. Um, do we have enough stuff to build the ships? We don't have cast iron. We certainly have enough of everything else. 
which means we need to crank those guys up but have nobody uh, doing this. Oh, look. And start construction of the ship. Now let's get some more trees in here. Okay. You can go back into planting mode. You guys have food. You don't have a lot of it, though. Where's all our food? Why are we so far down on meat? I guess it's... You know, we've changed the hunting situation, so... Uh, and I've got too many people allocated to that. Alright, so let's get this orchard rebuilt. Most scotchy. Why for a second there? It showed that I didn't have anybody. Okay. My laptop went to sleep on me. So I don't know if you guys have been chatting or what. I need to call it quits here in a minute. I was looking to see how far I have to go to my first job in the morning. directions. Here we go. Okay. Is this done yet? We're almost done and we are about frozen out. Boy, I do not like where we are food wise. Huh. Ew. Kessler Park in the morning. Yuck. It's not where I want to go. Hate going to that part of town. Alright, so we're good here, so let's get this back up. Apples, okay. So that's allocated. Alright. Okay. Building destroyed. Okay, very good. That takes care of that. Now, let's turn that off so I don't go goofing something else up. Alright. Uh, we're getting a little dicey on food. Oh, oh, we got somebody sick. Alright. That means we need somebody in the medic shop. Rabies, heal with herbs, collected by herbalists. We do have herbs, herbs. So, somebody got rabies. Take your ass over to the clinic. Uh -huh. Go to the clinic. Once again, oh, we got a crap ton of firewood. That's awesome. Except you don't have any over here. Uh, donkey. Donkey. Move some firewood. Wait. Most of the firewood's there. Okay. There we go. We'll move some. 
We should have some up here. Yep, there's some up here. I still need to build a lumberjack's lodge up here. Okay, now, do we have two people with frickin' rabies? What's going on here? You're walking around like you're cray-cray. Where are you going? Uh -huh. Carrying resource. Go to see the medic. So we have a healer. Well, we don't need that many people allocated there. Uh, wow. Uh, let's see. Another couple of fish farms? I think so. Maybe I need to put some over this side of town. I think we're going to do that. I'll try to put some over here by the by the port. Okay, they're gathering what they need, and well, they got everything they need. We just got to get the iron ore made, so that's good. We're close. All right, so let's see. Can't build in that area. So, kind of want to have, there's some fish below here, but not a lot. There are fish right there, though. We can get right next to the port, because the ship, the ship usually docks on this side, I think. I think. What the hell is the deal? Of course, now my computer's fritzed. Um, I don't know if the fish farms care. Tell you what. We'll build the fish farms. I want to get the, the ship built first because I want to see it. So we build the fish farms. It looks, you know, doesn't look jank. Because that's important. <laughs> uh, hey, we're going to follow Rabies Girl. There are laborers toting shit everywhere. Look at that. 20 people are in labor uh, jobs. Okay, hold it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Eating. Okay, Colette. You can, you can eat. You're getting warm. Uh, we're going to send that um, ship out after... Um, animals because I want sheep so we can get wool so we make heavier clothing so then the people will be happy okay nope okay so speaking of making people happy okay that will make people happy all right let's get you moving Yeah, don't breathe on anybody. Don't zombie on anybody. 
We're in the town. Walking in the winter wonderland. All right, let's go this way. Go into the healer's hut. Healer's, the apothecary, whatever it's called. There you go. It's all snowy inside. So now, toot your horn. All right, this is good. We're mining the snot out of some uh, ore. How are we doing here, guys? Are we close? No. Not much closer than we were. Oh, well, that helps. All right, home chick has been healed, I think. Nope, we got one sick person in there, so that's her. Oh, look. You can see the red cross on here. Okay, now they got some firewood up here on this end of town. Obviously, the ground is not level enough to build a lumberjack's lodge right here. That sucks. What are we up here? Here? No? All stone and shiz. Oh, here, here, wait, 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 wait. Here, aha. There we go. Build it right there. There we go. And teenagers are grown up. Hooray. So we'll get that built up there. That will help. Early spring. Temps are coming up. Okay, we've got fields allocated. We've got lots of wheat being turned in. So now, uh, we're working on the parts for the ship. The next step is going to be bakeries. So we've got to have bakers and bakeries. Those will go right here on the path. As soon as it thaws, we'll build a couple of bakeries right here, or maybe right here. And then we'll be able to take food out of the barns here. And we'll put a, uh, a new, um, well, I mean, there's a, there's a well right there, because you've got to have a well for the baker. And uh, get that taken care of. I swear when I watch live stream on my computer. <sighs> ah, here we are. Sweet. Pause this for a second here. Let's get... I need these trees cleared out, please. Hell, just clear them all out while you're at it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. And we'll take... There we go. Everything's full up. Good. All right, we've got those trees cleared out. That'll clear the path. Path of the righteous man. And then we will look at building. Yeah. There we go. Now I can see what's happening. 
Very good. So, uh, of course, it's going to turn dark on me. Douche. Um... How big is a bakery? 11 by 11. Of course it's an odd size compared to everything else. Or that would fit there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Cool. That almost lines up with the front gate, too. Yeah, actually, it does. Lines up just right. All right, let's run that path across there. Well, there's no reason to run it that way. I guess we can run it a couple. Okay, and then we'll build another one. You've got to have two of these to produce the sufficient quantities needed. Okay. that there. Put that there. And we're going to put a well. Can't I build in that area? That's stupid. Huh. This will give us water for the port as well. All right, fine. You're being butthead. There. Okay. Oh, wow, that's eating up everybody. Let's take some people out of the mines. Keep gathering resources. Okay, very good. And punch it. All right, boy, our little village has certainly grown, hasn't it? I know we haven't built any new houses in a while. Uh, we'll look at that, doing that here, maybe shortly. Um... I don't really have any more people I can allocate to. Well, yeah, I do. Duh. That's a stupid ass thing. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to build any more fish farms over there. Whoa. Oh, that's new animation. Look at that. That's cool. I don't remember being like this before. No, no. They didn't show it. The ship just appeared. Righteous. And there it is. Awesome. All right, we've got our ship. Hooray. Now the expedition. See, we've got to have logs. Then we got to have pies, water, tools. We're getting short on tools. So we're going to actually put a couple people on the... Uh, Clothing. I think we're going to need um, another uh, weaver. Weaver's workshop here fairly soon because our clothing is not keeping up. Supply is not keeping up with the demand. Holy crap, we're out of food. Whoa. Boy, did I snooze through that. 
Yeah, you know, I really hadn't built any farm. Uh, I built farms for the little places, but not anything substantial. All right, let's build a farm here, people. And, of course, fracking tornadoes coming along. I can't build in this area. Oh, it's got some stupid... Um, there we go. Oh, don't do that. No, no, no. There we go. Take that. Take that. There you go. Not that much down. Don't take it down too far. I gotta build a field here, quick. There we go. That looks good. Ah. All right. Now we can put some people to work. Ore mine again. Oh, we're out of lumber. That's swell. There are tons of firewood, though. Okay, so let's get these trees cut over here. Once again, we're clear-cutting a space where there's animals. I don't think I want to do that. There we go, that's 500. Go get that. Get that. We are critically short on food. This is not good. I'm not quite sure how we went sideways on that deal. But we did. All right, so here's the plan. Get some gatherers gathering out here. And um, Okay, we're about to have a mass starvation event here, people. I think you guys can start pulling those in. fish farms. Of course, we're short on lumber to build them. Yeah, we are about to be in deep doo-doo. Okay, well, we can't build depth there.
see what we can do here. Just keep working. Keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. I think we got this field covered with... Yeah, they're in good shape. Someone died in an accident. Sorry. All right, veggies are starting to come in. Okay, do we have this gatherer's hut finished? We do. Get three people gathering over there. Now we have wood that's come in, so now we can look at, oops. We look at this fish farm situation. Since the ship's on the end of the dock like that. Okay, let's build it. Alright, let's see where we can build the ramp here. Oh, wait, 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 belay that order. Hold it. I don't want to do that just there. Not just yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. Shoot. I have a plan. <laughs> I just goofed the plan up. Well, maybe they're still going to build it. Nope. All right. I, I just, I forgot that you can continue past the end of the stupid thing. Okay. Try it again. Jesus, another one? Didn't we already have one this year? I think we did. Quite sure we did. Start pulling in potatoes. Right by us, too. Right through the village again. Thanks, dickhead. These erratic paths that are just so unlike any form of reality. Okay, we need to go over here, make sure this field gets pulled. Alright, I think we're going to make it, but we do need more... We need more meat. So I think we're going to have to push the hunting ground out here a little bit. Well, you're not doing anything. What good are you? Go to planting mode, I guess. You guys are getting that field ready. That's good. Fish farm construction complete. Hooray. Okay, there's another fish farm. Uh, I think we can put one right here beside it. Cannot build in this area. 
So I wonder if I should run that dock. So you can't come on from the side. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is just build a bridge out from wherever we can. I can't build in that area. Ah, you know, what what good would that be? Um, I can't build in that area. So, that's a wasted effort. Alright, so let's try that again a little closer here. Because this is, you know, kind of like floodplain. So I'd have to build that. Oh, wait a minute. I think we could build them this way. That wouldn't be terribly bad. Doesn't look like it lines up very well, though. Hmm. Uh, fish is picking up. Food is picking up. All right, we survived. Nobody starved. We've got 6,000 plus food now. We do need to get the meat back up. Everything is done. Okay. All right, so we've got wheat, we've got fruit. Let's assess the potential of sending out an expedition here. We'll find animals, water's easy, we've got tools, we've got clothing, we've got lumber, we just gotta make pies. Barb. Excuse me, we're gonna send the expedition. So, now that we got bakeries, we got bakers. Okay, so we need fish pie. Fish pie. You are going to make fish pie. Okay. You are going to make what's next on our list. Hold on. We need meat pie. Very good. Okay, and then once those are done and the ship is stocked, we'll make vegetable pie. So vegetable pie. Oh, poop. Uh, poop, that means a coop. So, that means we've got to build a chicken coop. Swell. You know what? I think we'll deal with that next time. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Boy, I played this a hell of a lot longer than I meant to this evening, but uh, it's been fun. Except for the damn tornadoes. I feel like we should rename us more, you know, not more Oklahoma, but something. Um, so, yeah, appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Um, share with your friends. 
Let them know about Life is Feudal Forest Village, now available on Steam. Been out for a couple of years. You usually catch it on sale. It's a good deal. It's very fun, very chill, very relaxing, very pretty. Um, let them know about the channel, too. We appreciate uh, bringing new subscribers in. Pushing for 500. I'd like to see us hit 500 by, like, the 1st of October. We're over 470, so tell five people about the channel. You got buds who play games and stuff. Oh, Munder died of old age. Well, we're going to finish with Munder dying of old age. Where's Munder? Munder must be over here because there's the pyre burning. Okay. Sorry to see you go, Munder. Um, and subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. I will be, let's see, my 30th high school reunion homecoming game tomorrow night. If you're watching this after, you know, <laughs> then you, what is today, the 29th, 28th, 28th. So yeah, tonight's uh, my uh, 30th homecoming. So we're going to the game. Saturday I've got pool playoffs. Saturday night uh, I've got a homecoming dinner. I'm not absolutely sure I'm going, but we'll see. So then I may be home and may do some live streaming, maybe some farming simulator after that, or something to that effect. We'll see. Do some Saturday night live streaming. Yeah. Um, and then um, Sunday, I don't, oh, Hunter Ash died of old age. Wow. Everybody's croaking. A lot of folks were croaking. The battle droids were broken. Yeah. Weird Al Yankovic. The saga begins. Look it up on YouTube. Very funny. Um, oh. I got somebody up here making firewood. Yeah, that works. Cool. Anyway, all right, folks. And hey, uh, become a, a patron of the channel. Help support us. And uh, you know, have some input on future games and stuff. Uh, Patreon.com, P A T R E O N.com, slash A underscore train. That's A underscore train. Appreciate you being a patron of the channel. And thank you to those who sponsor us. It's fantastic. Really uh, humbling kind of thing appreciate it. So I hope you were entertained. Uh, Justin Corman, drive safe. Enjoy your uh, time with your dad. Hey, watch this on your phone. <laughs> I'll have videos you can get caught up while you're, uh, while you're gone. And uh, or when you get back. And uh, yeah, things will, be, uh, things will be good. So, all right, everybody. Have a great day, night, evening, no matter where you are on planet Earth or beyond. Oh, I forgot morning. It could be morning where you are. Day, night, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out. <laughs>